for for Tyler and Chucky. I was watching you guys. You came in. You're both looks. I don't know if you're staring at the stat sheet or just at the table. What are you thinking after the way you guys played and let a, another one, another opportunity, slip away in the last minute or two? Um, I mean, it's pretty frustrating because we've been playing well enough to win, and we just haven't been able to get it done. Max, I'm wondering if, if you can put words to that. What hasn't been quite there to get you over the hump in a lot of these games towards the end? Feels like we're right there. Um, it's just a matter of a few possessions. I wouldn't say there's one you know single thing. It's a matter of cleaning up a few possessions and taking care of the ball earlier in the first half. Um, things like that put us in a better position to win. For Max, just what you saw, what was going, what if you'd take me through that driving layup attempt there in the closing minute, it looked like there might have been some contact. Just what did you, what was your viewpoint on that? Um, yeah, you know, just trying to get to the rim, uh, <clears throat> get in the paint, make a play. Uh, I should have came to a two foot stop, controlled myself, but uh, went off one, missed it. Tyler, two for 11 tonight. Was there anything different that you saw from tape to what happened with how Zach Eady and the Purdue defense was guarding you? What was kind of uh, the reason behind the offensive inconsistency? Just missed my shots. Tyler, obviously, uh, senior night didn't end the way you would have liked. Um, but what can you say for this team's effort? You guys have been in these games. You guys are battling. Is the effort there that, that you would like to see as a senior from these younger guys? Yeah, I mean, you can't fault the effort. Um, I feel like we're in these games. If, if the effort wasn't there, we wouldn't be in them. We'd be getting blown out. Um, you know, just credit to this team. We show up every day, try to get better, um, even with all the ups and downs we've been going through. How many games you have to win? The effort's there, you know. We just got to convert in the final minutes of the game, you know. Uh, I know we go with stretches where we don't score, we don't have a field goal. So then we just got to figure out how to, a way to how to score and get and get field goals. Do two more, Mike. Tyler, just you kind of alluded to it earlier, just the frustration of being so close in these games. So emotionally exhausting has has this stretch been, where you guys have had opportunities <laughs> and been right there and dismissed at them. Um, I don't know. It's not really emotionally exhausting. I think at the end of the day, um, it's going to show, um, it'll show a good thing, good things for us. Um, if we just keep going, um, keep showing up every day, trying to get better, um, and keep doing the little things that, um, make this program good. Um, we keep trying to go out there, do that, and I, eventually it'll all pay off. Max, there's a really good energy from the crowd tonight. You guys have had some chances at home. What you need to do in the Big Ten play, right? You got to win your home games. That's kind of the rule. Um, is that the most most disappointing part about kind of the way the season's played out? Is that you guys just didn't finish the job in some home games? Um, yeah, I mean, I, the fr yeah, the frustrating part is we've been there on so many of these games. You know, I feel like regardless of it's home or away, um, we've been right there. But you know, like I said earlier, it's just a matter of a few plays, possessions, cleaning up some little things that is the difference maker for us right now. But you know, like these other guys alluded to, this group comes in every day ready to work head down, uh, do your job. So you can't fault the effort and the pride in this group right now. Greg, have you seen this play out this way before? What happened tonight? Chance to win the game and just not being able to finish it and make some plays. What's, what's the question? Is this, is this basically the same story of some, some other games that you guys have had the opportunity to? Well, I mean, every game has its own story. Um, I thought for, from the defensive standpoint, for the most part, we were exactly how we needed to be. Um, you know, and you know it's going to be in a lower possession game. They they played at a low possession rate all year, so have we. Um, that it's going to come down to a handful of possessions. Um, but I mean, for for this group, my biggest thing is I'd I'd like to see them be rewarded because they're doing so many good things and so many things right, and they've given us every single thing they have. Um, I mean, obviously Purdue's got a terrific team this year, but the, you know they they just continue to battle and have 
followed our plan. Um, you know, um, really well. Not, it's obviously not perfect, but no, no team is. Uh, I just like to see them get rewarded and and uh, be able to get over the hump here. <coughs> Todd in the back. Greg had shots to extend the lead with two, two and a half, three minutes to go. What did you think about those those chances? You take those, or is that something you feel like you could have could have gone a little bit different way? Well, if the ball goes in, they're a great shot, right? I mean, Chucky's, Chucky's was good. I mean, you had like six possessions in five minutes, according to the log I've got here. Um, some of them were in a shot clock situation. I thought Chucky's was a good one. He's hit the, that shot fake side dribble before. Um, Tyler had to shoot it um, a couple times. At max, it, we got exactly where we wanted to, then 20 seconds to go. I have to see the film um, on if he had his balance. Um, and if he got in there you know, a little too fast or out of con where he couldn't jump stop and gather and get the ball up on the backboard and have his momentum. So, um, I mean, that's the, the line we're walking that we've got to be able to make plays. Um, and it's not only the off offensive end tonight, it was there in the last, you know, two, three minutes, but um, we just got to keep helping them get better in that area. Jeff? In a game like this, you'll always point to possessions earlier in the game that the first half, too many points off turnovers, did you, yep. give, did you give them Purdue? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's, like I said, in a low possession game, you know, it's going to be a, a battle. And and we, we can set our defense in the half court. We're pretty good. You know, you can't set your defense when you're throwing pick sixes. So that's in those four points, man, in a two-point game. Love to have those back. Right here, Coach. Uh, Greg, with Zach Eady, obviously you doubled him quite a bit, and it looked like you got into the passing lanes a few times when they tried to feed it to him inside. Just what was the overall plan of attack for him tonight? Well, it's you try to keep the ball out of his hands as much as you can, but obviously they, they move him around and change the angle of the entry. Um, so, you know, trying to keep ball pressure on passers. We got some deflections at times. Times we didn't have our hands up, and they they zipped it over the top of us. Um you know, I think we did a, a decent job uh, on him for the most part. Obviously, you know, it's probably National Player of the Year. You know, he he should be. Um, you know, he just and then he gets on the glass too. And he's improved so much in his in his time there, and and he can play in longer stretches. And he plays thirty three tonight, and you know, in years past he could barely play twenty. So that's a credit to him. He's made himself from where he was. Um, you know, coming coming there to where he is now, he's made himself into a really good player because um, he works. And I, and I've had several conversations with Matt. So you have, um, and he's always commented about how hard the kid works. To he wants to be a good player, and it and it shows. Right back here, coach. Uh, coach here. Tyler Wall shot two of eleven today. What did you think about his his aggressiveness offensively and his shot selection uh, throughout the game? Well, I'll grade shot selection out as I watch the tape, but you know I know between getting double teamed or having um, they had Edie on him, so at seven four, seven five, whatever, it's not you know you can't get to it, it's hard to get to back downs and to get to places where he's efficient from. Um, you know I know one for nine from two, so I'll look for that. I'll look at that and dissect that in terms of what shots he shouldn't have taken, but um, you know that's a that's a uh, tough guy to have to score over the top of, you know, to put it mildly. We'll go Todd and then Chris. Greg, in terms of contributions off the bench, you got a, a few good minutes from Isaac Lindsay at the end of the first half. You got a, a bunch from Carter Gilmore. What did those guys kind of just provide in those spot moments where they, you know, can kind of go out there and, and flash and, and give you a little bit of something to get the crowd going? Yeah, I mean, Gilly, you know, Gilly's, we've talked about him a lot this year. He's, he's, accepted his role, embraced his role, and thrived in his role. Um, you know, and Isaac, you know, has played mostly on the scout team, but with Connor getting a couple fouls there, came in and, and not afraid of the moment, you know, obviously to, to knock down shots. And, um, you know, it just it, it's another example of a guy staying ready and, and waiting for his chance and making, making good of his opportunities. Go ahead, Chris. 
Coach, you men mentioned that you're happy with the guys' effort, their work ethic. What general message do you have for them if it isn't work harder, give me more? What, what can you even say at that point? Well, we've got to clean up. I mean, just as Jeff mentioned, you know, four, four layups that we gave up off of. Just little things can – one thing here, one thing there, as they add up, makes the difference, you know, because we've been in so many of these – these games, um, you know, I don't think it's any one thing. It's continue to be as consistent as we can and clean up some of the things that put us in trouble um, that make it harder to, to get out of hole out of a hole or starts our starts the digging of a hole. So, um, and, and we've got to continue to be better at making plays down the stretch um, and and getting you know, we got the ball to where we needed to. And then sometimes you got to. You know, just got to have a shot go in. I was hoping when we bank one of those threes in or something, just, you know, we need to need to break the ice, so to speak. Um, and like I said, just I would like to see this group get rewarded because of how they've embraced and, and attacked trying to be a good team. I mean, whatever we are, we're, we're a pretty good 16 and 13 team or whatever we are. Just... Well, I think we're a little better in our record shows. But we haven't gotten the results, so apparently we're not. Uh, you are who your record says you are? Right, Raul? Is that what they say? Whatever. All right. You, you've talked a lot about your players being resilient. How, how We saw them in here, and it looked like this one hurt pretty bad. How, how, how tough is it that when you keep getting kicked like you do to, to, to build them back up where you need them to be going into Sunday now? Well, they they have always come back. I mean, that's it, Sunday hurt too. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, that's it should hurt. It should sting. They they know that they played, did a lot of good things, and um, you know, just were right there. Um, obviously, they you know the senior night, all that. Uh, you want to play well in your last regular season home game. You're playing obviously a really good team. So yeah, I mean, they're they're competitive. They they want to win, and um, like I said, um, I, I can't ask for any more in terms of what they're doing, the effort they're putting in. You know, but as we've known all year, our margin for error is minimal. Um, so we've got to continue to help them find ways to get over the top. One more for Coach. Rick, um, Jeff. There have been a couple of games that have gotten away from you this year at Indiana, down the stretch against Nebraska. but. From the last 15 minutes when Chucky went out at at Michigan on Sunday through the end of regulation, and, and for the most part today, do you think you guys overall played solid basketball good enough to maybe win those games? Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's any doubt. We, we've gotten better. We played better basketball. Probably, you know, the second the second half at Nebraska is one that was not, you know, not acceptable. But other than that, we have, you know, Indiana, um, you know, that one obviously got away from us. But... You know, we played some pretty – I thought we played really well in the second half Sunday. I'll see as I go through the tape tonight about what I think about tonight. But, I mean, you're right here with, you know, the league's champion toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So that tells me, you know, we're, we're doing a lot of good things. If if we weren't, we wouldn't be coming down to 20 seconds with a, a shot to, to take the lead. 